welcome back to Mrs. E's Chickadees. How are you, you little chickadee? Are you good? Do you hear the birds? I hear the birds. I'm from the porch again because it's another beautiful day. Lots of fun today. Let's get started. What do we need to do first again? You got it. Stand up for the pledge. Here we go. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you so much. Have a seat. Welcome back everybody to Mrs. East Chickadees. Welcome back if you are an old friend that's been with me for a long time and welcome if you're a new friend and this is your first time joining us. We're happy that you're here today. It is May 21st and today is Thursday. And we are talking about two letters this week because you're so smart and we're almost done with all of our letters and you can handle two letters, can't you? Get up your sign for W, five wuh sounds. Ready? Wuh, 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 wuh. Nice job. X, get out your pyro dog. Arr. Five X, X sounds. Ready? X, 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 X. Nice job. We'll come back to those letters and we'll talk a little bit more about them later. But first we're gonna jump right into our book today because it's a little bit of a longer book. It's all about trees. Because in the season of spring, it's fun, we start to see buds and blooms coming out on trees and bushes. So the title of my book today is, We Planted a Tree. Look at that, does it look like the same tree? Mm, looks a little different, doesn't it? Looks like it might be two different families in two different places. I've never seen a book like that. Let's see, We Planted a Tree. This was written by Diane Muldrow, she's the author. And the illustrator is Bob Stocky. That means he did the pictures. Let's say thank you to Diane and Bob for such a great book. Thank you, Diane. Thank you, Bob. Let's jump right in. I wonder what kind of tree this is. Ooh, those are beautiful. We planted a tree. We planted a tree. Oh, they're doing it as a family. That's kind of fun. What do you have to do to plant a tree? Hmm. Dig a hole, drop it in, and cover it up. Let's plant a tree ourselves. Let's dig five big scoops. Ready? One, two, three, come on, four, five. Good, drop that tree in. Boop. Now cover it up with soil. Cover it up. Now it's ready. We planted a tree and it grew up. Friendies, now look at this home. Hmm. And look at this one. Do they look seamy seam or different? Yeah, you're right. These are two different parts of the world where these families live. This looks like the city and this looks like more of a desert climate. But they're both planting a tree. That's cool. We planted a tree and it grew up while it reached for the sky and the sun. The sunshine went into the leaves and brought food to the tree and the tree grew up. We know all about that, that plants need sunshine to grow. Fat little buds appeared on the branches. See that? It's pretty. I love the pictures. Look at this picture for a minute, friendies. Isn't that beautiful? All over the world, people plant trees. The sunshine went into the buds and soon they burst open Let's pretend we're a bud. Sunshine's going in, ready? Bup! Everywhere it was pink and we were dizzy with springtime. Look at that, Freddy's. Aren't these pink flowers beautiful? It's the season of spring, the sun is out. Look at everyone is out in their city having a fun time. Sometime we will be able to go out into our city and have a good time again. The sun kept shining. The pink blossoms dropped off. But soon there were green leaves, green, green, shiny leaves, which had food inside for the tree. Green, green, shiny leaves, which cooled us, which kept the earth cool. Do you ever do that, friendies? Do you ever sit under a tree when you're warm and cool off a little bit? Mm, that's nice. We planted a tree and it grew up and it gave us a shady place. What are they doing under the tree? 
See, I have a little rip in my book. That was an accident. We always take care of our books. Our books are our friends. He's writing a note. She's reading a book. What's the doggy doing? <sighs> Wake up! The doggy's taking a snooze. The tree's leaves helped clean the air and we breathed better. Did you know that trees help keep our air clean? Let's do a regular deep breath and breathe in all the beautiful air we have because of our trees. Ready? Thank you trees for helping us to have clean air. The tree fed us apples and oranges and lemons. Ooh, did you ever go pick apples right off the tree and maybe eat them? Mm. Look at that, really pretty. You know what trees also give us? Mm, take a look, what do you think this tree is giving them? Do you know? Sap or syrup, like maple syrup. That's what he's getting out of this tree, see? They take it out of the tree and then they do some things to it to clean it up and get it ready and then we can have it on our pancakes. Mmm, yummy. We planted a tree and it grew up. The tree kept the soil from blowing away. Now rainwater could stay in the earth. Did you know the trees do that? The soil became healthier. Soil's a fancy word for healthy dirt. You're right. Because the tree was there, so we planted. We planted butternut squash and beans, corn and onions and cabbage in the healthy soil, the rich, dark dirt. Oh, look at that, Rendy's. Their tree's growing up really nice. Let's see about our other tree. We could grow our own food and we ate better. Mm. They're eating healthy, aren't they? It's good to eat healthy food. Oh, here's our other tree. We planted a tree and it grew up too. And it dropped acorns that fed the squirrels in winter and birds came and other animals came too to live with the tree. So this tree has some snow, it's still growing. This tree doesn't, it's still growing. Trees can grow in all different types of climate. That's places with different kinds of weather. We planted a tree and that one tree made the world better. We planted a tree and that one tree helped heal the earth. We planted a tree and it grew up. Look at, the kids are also growing up. And so did we. I love that book, Fundies. Let's do a heart clap, ready? Beep, 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 beep. I love that one. That makes my heart feel so happy inside. Okay, Fundies, let's see. Remember, we've been talking a little bit about the things we do in spring. Here's my umbrella, woo! Ready? I've got an umbrella. What's inside? Let's see. What are two more things that we're gonna do in spring? Oh, we needed this one yesterday. Do we fly a kite in spring? Here we go, ready? This is the way we fly a kite, fly a kite, fly a kite. Oh, bring it in. Whoa, this is the way we fly a kite all spring long. Nice job. So see what else we do in spring. Oh, this is the messy one. These words say jump in mud puddle. Oh, I don't like that one. You ready? Let's jump in them. This is the way we jump in mud puddles, jump in mud puddles, jump in mud puddles. Really splash it. This is the way we jump in mud puddles all spring long. Nice job, Freddy. It's really, really, really nice job. Okay, so it is time for us to get ready to do our circle time center. Where's my... I love this spring wand so much. I know I keep using it, but I love it. I love it. It's so pretty. I'm going to use it again. Here we go, friends. Today is May, a two and a one together. 21st, you're right, in the year 2020. Let's get our bodies ready for slap top counting. Are you ready? Crisscross. I'm gonna say Xalagazam with my ex when you look ready. Xalagazam, you look ready. Today is May 21st, 2020. Let's count our gumballs. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Air clap, air shout. Nice job, nice job. Remember yesterday when that silly gumball wasn't there? Mm, I took care of him. We're set today. Put those powder finding goggles on, open them up. Boop. Let's see what kind of pattern we have today. You say blue, yellow, yellow, blue, yellow. What will tomorrow be? Did you say yellow? Mm, I think you're right. I think you're right. Okay, let's see what day it is today. Is it Sunday? That's family time. Every time. Is it Monday? Nope. Is it Tuesday? Not this day. Is it our W day of the week? Wednesday? No, but that was yesterday. Is it Thursday? A T and an H together. It's Thursday, which means that tomorrow will be Friday. You got it. Let's do our rhyme. King ring. You ready? King ring. King ring. King ring. What's the word that rhymes with king and ring? What have we said already this week? Ling, ting. Did we say bing? How about bing? Or ming. Bing, ming. Those rhyme. I love it. I love it. You come up with some rhymers for king and ring. Really nice job. Okay, Freddie's I have a couple things that you can do today that go with our book. Let me grab my book. I want to show you. Oh, here it is. Did you know that this book is full of shapes? Let's look back at some of the shapes. Oh, friendies. What's that? A giant circle. Yep. Oh, more circles. Let's see if we can go on a shape detective hunt. Are you ready? Hmm, what's this? Don't say square. Rectangle, you got it, rectangle. Oh, look at, I have another circle here. And let's see what else I can find. I see a lot of circles. I see rectangles. Let's see if we can find some squares in this book. Oh, nope, oh, that's not a square. Here's a square. And look at this. Here's a triangle. This book is full of shapes. Triangles, circles, rectangles, squares. In their cities, they had lots of shapes. Do you think you can go on a shape hunt in your town? Ask your grown-up if they would take you for a walk. And when you're walking, see how many shapes you can find. You can be really fancy and write it down if you want, but you don't have to write it down. See how many you find. Count them up and see what you have the most of and what you have the least of. The most means the biggest amount and the least is the smallest amount. You might even get some that are equal, the samey same amount. Try that, okay? Another thing that you can do, I like doing this with a lot of the stories that we read. Is you can pick your favorite part. Oh, there's Fiona. <laughs> Hi, Fiona. She stuck right in on us, friendies. We haven't seen her in a while. You can choose your favorite part of the book, and then you can draw a picture and write about it. Look at what I picked. These words say, I liked when the trees were pink with flowers. So you see, I drew the, I drew the trees pink with flowers, and here are the people in the town walking in the cars. So I'm going to show you that page again. I can show you. Count me down. 10, 9, 8, 7, I'm almost there, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. This is my favorite page, Randy's. So look at the video. Choose your favorite part of this story and draw a picture. If you're ready to write some words, ask your grown-up to help you. Grown-up, they can do some sound spelling where they can just listen and sound them out. Or you can write them on a card above and they can copy. It's fun to choose our favorite part of the story, isn't it? Yeah. So I hope you're having a super great day. Grownups, I forgot this yesterday, so let's do two today. People usually are the happiest at home. I hope you're happy at home, grownups. Choose happiness. We're doing that every day, aren't we? We're choosing happiness every day. I hope you choose happiness today. Friendies, you did a great job. Let's do some positive affirmations. Ready? I am brave. You say. I am brave. I am kind. I am kind. I am smart. I am smart. I am strong. I am strong. Nice job. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for joining me at Mrs. East Chickadees, where every little chickadee is part of my flock. You want to say bye? Bye. Have a great day.